Hey everyone, welcome back to Zackstech. Today we're diving into the newest version of VMware Workstation Pro 25H2, released in October 2025. I'll walk you through the coolest new features, what's improved, and exactly how to download and install it. Let's get started. What's 25H2 and why it matters? All right, so let's talk about what 25H2 actually means, uh, because VMware just changed the way they name their releases. Instead of those long version numbers like 17.5.2 that no one remembers, they've switched to a calendar-based versioning system. You'll see names like 25H1 and 25H2 now, basically, 25 stands for the year 2025, and H2 means the second half of the year. So 25H2 is the big October 2025 update, and yeah, it's brand new. Now, this isn't just a small maintenance patch. VMware really packed in improvements around usability, compatibility, automation, and hardware support making it smoother and faster to run your virtual machines. So if you're already using VMware Workstation Pro, upgrading to 25H2 is absolutely worth it. It's not just about fixing bugs, and it's about getting new tools, better performance, and a more modern experience overall. To download VMware Workstation Pro, head over to the Broadcom website and Sign in if you already have an account. If you don't, you'll need to create one first. After you log in, the interface will look like this. Just click on My Downloads. Now look for the Workstation Pro. I usually find it at the bottom. you can now choose and, and download the version you want, either for Windows or Linux. Once the download is complete, run the installer. The installation process on Windows is straightforward. Just accept the license terms, choose your preferred installation options like the default path and shortcuts, then proceed with the setup. After it finishes, launch VMware Workstation Pro 25H2. All right, let's talk about what's actually new in VMware 25H2 because there are some solid quality of life improvements here. First up, we've got something called Dict Tool. This is a brand new command line utility that lets you view and edit VMware configuration files like your .vmx or preferences straight from the terminal. So if you love automation or you work with scripts, this is going to save you a ton of time when managing multiple virtual machines. Now, here's one of the biggest updates in VMware Workstation Pro 25 H2 expanded platform support. So what does that actually mean? Basically, VMware has leveled up compatibility for the latest generation of CPUs and operating systems. If you've got one of Intel's new chips like Lunar Lake, Arrow Lake, or Meteor Lake, this version is fully ready for it. No more weird issues or performance drops. Everything just works smoother, and it's not just about hardware. Workstation 25 H2 now supports the latest guest operating systems like Red Hat Enterprise Linux 10, Fedora 42, Debian 13, Oracle Linux 10, and even VMware ESX 9.0. So you can create and test all these new systems inside your virtual machines without worrying about compatibility. Even better, if you're running Linux as your main system, 25H2 adds support for those same 
newer Linux versions as host operating systems too. That means you can install VMware directly on Red Hat 10, Fedora 42, or Debian 13, and it'll run perfectly fine. So uh, yeah, whether you're a developer, tester, or just love playing with new tech, 25H2 is future ready. It's built for the next wave of hardware and operating systems. This update also brings better accessibility, important security updates, and it finally fixes a few annoying user interface glitches on Windows. And on the Linux side, they've cleaned things up too. You know, support bundles are handled more smoothly. Excessive logging has been toned down. And that full screen crash some users were seeing gone. Plus, if you're using an Intel GPU, you'll notice much better 3D acceleration performance on Linux. So overall, this version just feels more polished, faster, and way more stable across the board. And that's a wrap. VMware Workstation Pro 25 H2 brings real value, a cleaner versioning model, USB 3.2 support, the new DIC tool, and updated hardware slash OS compatibility. Best part, it's freely available to all users. If this video helped you, hit like, subscribe, and tap the bell icon so you won't miss future VMware or virtualization deep dives. Drop a comment if you run into issues or want to see a deeper DICT tool tutorial. Until next time, happy virtualizing.